In this snip, we're going to focus on how to use the try catch and finally script blocks with PowerShell. First, let's talk about why to use a try catch and finally block. They're used to respond or handle terminating errors in scripts. For more information on forcing non terminating errors to terminate, check out my other snip covering non terminating errors. In the try block, you will define a section of code you would like PowerShell to monitor for errors. Here, we are using the get child item commandlet to look for the snip.log. Since we are forcing a terminating error, PowerShell will search for the catch block to determine how to handle the error. In our catch block, we are writing a warning message about the exception and printing out the exception type. The finally block is executed every time the script is run, with or without error. You can use this block to free up resources, write a message, or clean up any other objects. Now when we execute this code, we can see that the item not found exception was thrown and caught by our catch block and even though an error was thrown, our finally block still executed. Now building on our example, you can specify an exception type in the catch block in order to handle specific exceptions a certain way. Here we are specifying the exception type item not found exception in our first catch block. It is possible to specify multiple exception types in the same or different catch blocks. However, the first catch block that matches the exception thrown will be the one executed. Running this code, we can see that the item not found exception was thrown and caught, but now our item not found exception catch block is creating the file and the finally block is still running after the error. Notice that the second catch block did not execute. That was because the first catch block matched the exception type that was thrown. In our last example, we are specifying three catch blocks, but two are using specific exception types item not found exception, and command not found exception. Running the code, we can see our first catch block was skipped because it did not match the exception type. However, the second catch block was executed because it matched the exception type, command not found exception. That covers using the try catch and finally script blocks in PowerShell. Thank you for watching.